Hey, what's up, everybody? This is JT back with the Shooter Shoot podcast, and today's episode's number forty-six. It's just been a beautiful week since last time I podcasted. You know, just buckling down for that Green Friday. And uh, for those of you that don't know, four twenty is basically like the Black Friday of retail, but for the weed world and for the degenerate weed heads, bro. And you'll catch, you know. Just kind of lower middle class America and a few droplets of like everything else. A lot of poverty stricken homies. Trying to just, you know, relieve their inflammation. Kind of just self-medicate. And, you know, me- um, humans are just in the business of self-medicating to, you know, feel better. And then there's corp- then And then there's systems at hand that kind of put those at bay those feelings so the way i think about it is as long as you're not hurting other people and you still take care of business and you provide and you do the right things then consume what you want but you know with that freedom comes a slippery slope and you see that like our food is out like fast food is advertised around every corner with the brightest lights you know, there's additives in there that, like, make you want to shit MSG. I just found out Chick-fil-A had MSG in the chicken. I watched that chicken documentary on, I think it was Netflix or Hulu. <clears throat> and some dude uh, made his own chicken restaurant. And, yeah, he was looking at all the ingredients. And MSG, shout out to MSG and Chick-fil-A. Shit's fire, though. Not good for you at all. At all. But, I mean... We're in the consumption business as um, humans, like, and then there's Muslims, or um, but even the, the Muslims and the Tibetan monks, I fucking, I think about them and I'm like, come on, bro, <sighs> y'all don't fuck around at all. Like even Mahatma Gandhi was like sleeping with ladies. Like he had a bunch of young, you know, little princesses in that fucking caves out there. And he was sleeping with them, bro. Like, I feel like you you preach a certain thing and then you just get to that point. And then, come on, bro. Behind closed doors, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing, dog? But especially, like, here in America, like, it's a free world. But it's as free as you want to make it, dog. You're free as to go at least in san francisco and just go break it open fucking car door windows and shit without any repercussions stay homeless and just steal shit all day that's one way to go or you can consume responsibly still work your job try to podcast on the side can you know try to create some some digital art and just entertain the 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 masses you know get a following and you know have some fun out here or you can do that there's a lot of ways to go about it but one one thing is um with gambling here legal in nevada it's so hilarious because i've came from a lot of different places where it wasn't legal (laughs) the only difference is there's just more strung out people at gas stations gambling and shit like that it's uh yeah just getting ready for a mass consumption of marijuana. I saw this news story for um, a dude that locked his grandma up and his grandma like sprained her ankle and he put her in the freezer just to like let it heal. Man, dude, dude got charged with murder, bro. I feel like he was just trying to do like the Joe Rogan plunge, the David, the David, the Wim Hof method and it just backfired and there's nothing wrong with the good Wim Hof method freezer session like I talked to this one lady that worked at Sprouts came in to buy some weed and I was like damn how's it working at Sprouts she's like I'm in the deli section and I work in the cooler and I have to wear like a whole get up and just like do shit like um unload pallets with perishables and i was like damn you probably have to do that quick and she's like no it's just a huge ass giant cooler room that has a bunch of stuff in there and 
no matter what you can't tough it out she said like you go in there and like for like one minute you're good but after that you're like you can't grab shit you have to wear gloves you have to have a whole fucking suit and any job that involves a suit i'm fucking out dude i worked in this production lab for in in denver where i was like fucking trimming plants and doing a bunch of bullshit packaging marijuana fuck that shit um but you had to wear a fucking hairnet a full fucking um breaking bad uh get up and a beard net bro it was so fucking uncomfortable over your clothes it was like you were a chinese fucking chemical factory horrible bro and ever since then i vowed i was like i'm not gonna fucking wear a whole get up like a whole lab coat and a fucking hairnet no more i just can't live uncomfortable this shit sucks Try to be as comfortable as possible, dog. And that's why I like rock like me undies and fucking Lululemon and that like that super like you know kind of that shit you know. But super comfy, dude. Comfortability in that shit. But make sure you get the Lululemon lemons without the liners in them. But that's for the that's for the dogs that you know. You know what I'm saying. But, um, yeah, fuck wearing those things. And, uh, I saw this other shit, too. It was, like, this, uh, this, this couple, they got arrested because their baby, they gave their four-year-old baby, or four-week-year-old baby, um, alcohol. And I heard of, like, giving babies, like, nummies or something. Like, a little bit of alcohol with lemon. I'm like, No fuck no 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 one's consuming alcohol dude like come on now babies need fucking milk and whatever else they need but bro yeah if you want to fucking not be like those people read those headlines and shit and you'll just be like damn people are fucking up out here like how do you fuck up that bad it's consumption america's free people are fucking doing what they want consuming bath salts fucking caffeine knocked off nicotine from fucking china So, you know, number 46 today, shout out to Consumption Method, the theory of consumption. It's your boy JT, one time for the one time. Be careful what you consume. Try to draw a line somewhere. One time for the one time. We done, son.